Austin Reeves has become a fan favorite around the NBA. His confidence on the court really stands out and the light never seems to be too bright for him. Defensively, he is fundamentally sound. And for my Hoopers out there, there are a couple things we can learn from his defense that could drastically change how impactful we are on the end of the court. Let's dive into it. The first aspect of his defense that we'll focus on is his ability to put his body on the line and take charges. And I know this isn't the most attractive thing to do on the court and many consider it flopping, but in reality, taking charges count as a defensive stop. Draymond Green was first in charge of drawing in the playoffs, and he has four rings and is considered one of the greatest defensive players of all time. So if he's taking charges consistently, then that means there is tremendous value in doing so. He has great understanding of momentum and timing. Mark is smart as someone who has mastered this, and Austin Reeves isn't too far behind. After that first bump, he knows that the ball handler is trying to aggressively back him down, so he uses the ball handler's aggressiveness to his advantage. Now if he was guarding someone who was backing him down with little force, then it wouldn't be smart to draw the foul because it wouldn't be believable, and you would just end up giving up a wide open layup. Understanding your opponent is another aspect of being elite at drawing charges. Here, Austin knows that Christian Wood isn't the best ball handler, and from Wood's point of view, he sees a smaller guard in the paint, so his first thought is to simply overpower him. But again, Reeves uses that aggressiveness against him. The second part of his defense that we as Hoopers can learn from is its ability to recover. When you're playing against a high level of competition, there will be plenty of times when a player blows by you. Every elite defender in the NBA gets blown by. But what separates them from average defenders is their ability to recover and get back into the play. On this possession, watch how Reeves get beaten off the dribble by Clay. Now he's in recovery mode and hustles to get the block. Recovery is all about taking the right angles. When you get beat, rather than trying to reattach to the ball handler, you should sprint to where the ball handler is headed. Notice how Reed just sprints straight in order to get to the basket the quickest. If he would have curved and not stayed on that straight line, then Clay would have had an easy dunk. It's all about angles. That'll be all for today's video. I know this was a really short one, but I just wanted to point out those two specific things. If y'all want a full Austin Reed's defensive breakdown, let me know in the comments below.